Hello, today I am going to show you how to work on API Gateway, Lambda function in Python and DynamoDB. So, for this, first login AWS account. I have already logged in AWS account. Now, create a table, DynamoDB table. So, I am creating it. Create table, table name, I suppose table name is student, H-D-U-D, and uh, part, you have to give a partition key, uh, primary key, and the, suppose primary key is H-T-U student ID, okay, and uh, type of the primary key is string, so create. Table has been created here. You can see the student. Now the next step is create a lambda function using Python. So before creating a lambda function, we need to do something in IAM. Uh, we we need to. I am showing you. First, we have to create a policy. So here, policy. Uh, create policy. In policy, use the serv uh, Select the service. My service is because we are. I am going to work on DynamoDB. So, DynamoDB. Action all resources. All resources. This is optional, so I am skipping this. Review policy. Name the policy. Uh, suppose I am giving the policy name Dynamo DB or create policy. Now policy has been created. Okay. Entity already exists. Dynamo TV all policy. No policy has been created. Yeah. No. We need to create a role. So that I'm clicking on role and create role. Here I'm creating role for lambda function. So lambda next permission and next search the permit search the policy which we have created our, our policy was dynamo db all dynamo db all policy uh, this is optional step so i am skipping this the next is name role name dynamo db all role whatever you, you can give whatever you want my role is created so next step is creating a lambda function using python so for this go in services type lambda create function order from a sketch we are going to create from sketch here a student student lambda student lambda okay and the python 3.6 and the choosing here we have created role so selecting role to an existing role and the role is dynamo all role 
which we have created just before create function congratulations sorry lambda okay now here you have to you have to focus on handler here look lambda function is this lambda function and the, the method this is the method lambda handler lambda handler method because we need to connect to dynamo db so we we need to import photo 3 i am showing you the photo 3 documentations dynamo db creating new item look first imported boto3 next um, this this command dynamo db boto3 resource i am copying and pasting it to here dynamo db boto3 and the next is to creating a table because we are using dynamo db so we have uh, boto3 resource dynamo db now after uh, for creating a table table equal dynamo db dot table the table name table name i have student table name student so i'm copying it copying it student table name um i need to do the post request so just a minute the post request here now uh, here it is the post request creating new item so copy it from here item event equal sorry item equal to event and in return body give some code and code 200 message something student has been inserted okay now save it finally now we need to create a api gateway creating api gateway so api gateway create api um, we are working for rest so rest and new api api name is student student api 2 because i have already created one so new to two. and this will in point type Original get API now I have to create a resource resource name student create resource sorry sorry Create API, sorry.
Good. Good. Now the create a method. Um, method type is post method. Okay. No. Here you have to give the function name lambda function name. Our lambda function name is student lambda. So give the student lambda function. Select and add permission for lambda function. Okay. So we have created our lambda. Now check lambda function. If it is showing correct. So it is showing the same as we have created. Now back to here and test my lambda function. Go to test. Here in request body you have to enter the name of the primary key okay primary key this is the primary key and type of this student so in api gateway first the primary key and because it's type wise student so i am giving a value suppose anything 101 s 101 next students student name and this value is suppose anuj student location bihar now test it look student has been inserted so check the two database items here student has been inserted student id 101 location bihar and student name anuj now i am showing you to how to deploy it so go to api gateway action deploy api Deployment stage, new stage, and stage name. Open anything, dev and development. Development bar. Here we have post method. So using post. Now copy this link. And open postman Stepping down. <laughs> now it's open. Enter the URL here. Enter here the URL which I have copied. Just this is the URL, so enter here. This is the and I am using the post method. So post write in body student ID student ID. Student ID is one, two, three, four, five. 
student name aman phone for percent Here also student has been inserted. The no error, not check into database. Refresh. Look, student one two three four five has been inserted. Name student with phone number. Okay, thank you.